Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? I am fine, by, but I am asleep. I have a sleep. You are sleepy. Ah, okay. Very tired. Yes, because it's, today is Friday. <laughs> yes. In Friday, you want to relax, huh? Sometimes because I have uh, two children. Ah, okay. How old are your children? Uh, my daughter, she has eight and she is mm -hmm. she's eight years old and my son, he, he's uh, 50, no, 15, no, 15, 15, 15, yes. Okay. Oh, so, very big difference, five years old and 15 years old. Yes. Esperaste mucho tiempo, a long time. Now it's <laughs> difficult, huh? Now a lot of energy. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Well, today we're going to begin. Uh, good evening to everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to begin today looking at our past tense. Remember yesterday? We saw past tense for it was, were, yes. and did. Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So we have was and were. Remember, no actions. Was and were is no actions, no verbs. Okay. Did we use with actions? Okay. The three are in the past. So first we're going to make small groups and we're going to practice different questions. I'm going to show you a little part. Okay. If you remember, uh, we have WH questions also. The WH questions were what, where, when, okay. And you can use with was, were, or did, okay. Are we ready? We're going to practice beginning talking to our partners. As an example, okay, I'm going to ask my partner, Carlos. Hey, Carlos, where were you born? Jose Carlos, tell me, where were you born? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I I born in Apaneca City. Good, good. Remember, is I was. I, I was, was born. I was born in Apaneca City. Good, good. Okay. Jose Carlos, ask Ana Yancy a question in the past. Okay, Anna Jansi. Okay. Did you go to work uh, yesterday? Um, working in the Tunco Beach. Uh huh. So then the answer, Jansi, is yes, I did. Oh, or uh -huh. yes, I worked. In Tunco Beach. Yes, I work Tunco Beach. Okay, good, Anna Yancy. Anna Yancy, ask Aida Lisset. Okay. Uh, Aida Lisset, um, I no. Where? Uh, where was uh, in the board? No. No, Anna Yancy. Try again. Uh, uh, Anna Lisette. Uh, 
where uh, where in the poor no what do you want to ask yanti eh donde nació lisset ah so for this is where were you born okay always where with analyze where where you born okay i was born in san salvador okay good i all right thank you Oh, it's not Ana, it's Aida. So sorry, <laughs> Aida Lisa. I ahorita veo el nombre. So sorry, Aida. Okay. Okay. So good evening, teacher. Good evening. So this is the idea that we are going to begin. Is the review from yesterday. Yesterday we saw, you can watch 1.7, the video. The idea is how to make questions with was, were, and did. Remember the questions were was or did the answer yes no were you was she was he did you these answers yes or no wh ah what when where why then we have sentences or information okay so for example i ask um, let me see uh, jose isaias jose isaias was Aida Lisette born in China? Was Aida Lisette born in China? Uh, no, she isn't. Good, but no, she isn't. Is no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was. Okay. Correct. So, for example, here, the was and the person was Aida Lisette born in China. The answer is only yes, no. But with WH, the WH questions that we have a lot, where, who, what, when, why, the answer is no, yes, no. The answers are complete sentences, okay? So we make the questions like this. Subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. So when we make those WH questions, uh, where were you born? Then the answer, no, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. The answer is, I was born in the difference, okay? So remember, the, the was, were, or did, the question, yes, no. WH, where, who, what, when, or why, the answer, complete sentence. Teacher, excuse me. In yes. the in in your example, uh, can you put please? Mm -hmm. I have a question. If the answer is, did you go uh, a uh, student in a high school? Uh, repeat one more time, Karen. Did you? Did you go a student? A student in a high school. No, because it's not no. correct. Is the correct is were you a good student in high school? Because remember, student is no activity. And no activity. Uh-huh. The activity okay. is was or were. Good is adjective. So it's necessary were. Were okay, you okay. a good student in high school? Okay, you're right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to practice asking and answering questions with was, were, did, WH to our partners. Okay. For example, I said, hey, Anna said, hey, what did you do yesterday? Hey, Stephanie, where did you go last week? Jose Carlo. Were you born in San Miguel? Cesar, eh, what was your favorite cartoon? Okay, Jose Isaias, eh, where was eh, your mother born? Different, WH or 
uh, past questions. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, excellent. Yes. Let's practice asking and answering. Alex, you okay? Hola. Hello. Hello, uh, me acabo de conectar. No. Sí, ya estás en, pero no te uniste al grupo. Si quieres te mando a otro. Mm, okay. Okay. What is your name? Uh, María Los Alejandra. Mariela. María Los Alejandra, ok. De, se, siempre se te olvida cambiar tu nombre y si no la gente te va a decir. Alex. Sí. Ma, María Los. María Los, ok.
Norma, you okay? Norma? Okay, any questions? Everything okay? So, so, yes, good. Okay. It's okay. Excellent. Richard. Yes. Eh, nos quedamos ahí con el compañero. Bueno, yo es que yo soy la confundida. Si yo quiero preguntar, ¿dónde estuve el día de ayer? ¿Dónde estuve ayer? Yo decía que tenía que decir where, where, yesterday. No, Anna Yancy, it's not correct. You need to put, you need to follow the grammar rules. It's, it's good. Where, where, you need the person. Where were you yesterday? For example, where, were where, where. you yesterday? It's okay, Anne Yancy? 
Entonces, ahora solo me equivoqué en el you. <laughs> sí, Jan, Jan, sí. Good. Y, Chet, y, y, y si quiere decir qué países ha, ha, ha visitado. Ok. Then, um, it's going to be WH. It's going to be what country okay. have you visited? Thank you. You're welcome. Es que con, con mi compañera hablamos de que era como un poco eh, difícil hacer las preguntas con was y where más más allá de las de las que donde naciste y las que hemos estado practicando como que no se nos ocurre mayor cosas todo se nos ocurre con did sí porque pues, están pensando en acciones pero si le, si quitan las acciones se le va a ocurrir con was y where uh -huh. Karen vos eras gorda cuando era chiquita soy todavía todavía <risa> exacto esa es la pregunta ese es was where ese tiempo, sí. ese tiempo. Eh, Karen, la pupusa que probaste o no lo oculta, ¿eran deliciosas? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta esa, Tichi? Lo mismo, lo mismo. Was where. Todas esas preguntas son cuando usas was where. Eran, eran deliciosas las, las pupusas. Vamos a usar lo mismo que hemos aprendido. Como was y were. Cuando empezamos, son para yes y no. Simplemente pones was or were en el caso de pupusas como son plural vamos a decir were were the pupusas y pones cualquier cosa que quieres decir we were the pupusas delicious ok yo te quiero hablar de ti were, were you y cualquier descripción cualquier cosa que quiero preguntarte ah yo te dije era gordita were you fat uh, y puedo poner el tiempo. Last year, por ejemplo. Ok. E incluso en, enferma. Ah, ¿estuviste enferma? Enferma no es una acción. Todo eso es was where. Solo se te ocurren preguntas con did porque estás pensando en actividades. Si eliminas la actividad, se te van a ocurrir todas las preguntas con was y were. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome, Karen. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Uh, I, I don't know, but uh, for example, um, I, I, I could use uh, who uh, was you uh, the last weekend? For example, with, so you, uh, uh -huh, yeah. Ah, so, 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 Cesar, very good. But no, who was, who were. Who were you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it's correct. Who were you, Who were you with oh. last weekend? Good job, Sessa. Okay, the, the with is after the, the you, right? It's so, in the chat. No, it's it's a... in the chat, Sessa. It's in the chat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. Good. Ah, eh, eh, y para Karen y así todo, ahí están en el chat, por cierto, porque a veces se le olvidan revisar lo que ustedes me preguntan, cuando se los digo, lo pongo en el chat para que también lo puedan escribir y tomar apuntes, porque si no, no se les va a quedar. Entonces tengan el cuaderno ahí a la mano o a la par de su compu para ir anotando las estructuras. Ok. All right. Now let's continue. Now, with our partners, we are going to practice the different questions with was or were. Here is 1.8. With the partner, we have three minutes to answer. We, number one, we answer the correct. Number two, we put in the correct order. Number three, we match the question to the sentence. Number four, we put we select is the correct one. And number five, we select the question. So with the partners, three minutes, 1.8. Okay. You ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Okay. 
Hello. Hello. It's okay, any problems? No problem, Anna Yancy, it's okay, it's okay, Anna Yancy. Anna Yancy, Norma, no se pueden conectar al grupo? Ah, Norma? Sorry, teacher. It's okay, Norma. Norma, no te pueden conectar a otro clase, al, al grupo. O... Oh. Se me perdió, teacher, el, el, la ah, no, no, no pude. No, no hay sí. problema, Norma. Ahí va. Sí, thank you. You're welcome. Me puede volver a poner, teacher. Otra vez, mejor ya no, Norma, ya van a terminar. Ya solo le quedan unos segundos. Ahí intente hacerlo. Ok. Ok. okay. Don't teacher. worry. Thank you. You're welcome, Norma. Okay, you ready, Norma? Sí, teacher. Okay, what is number one? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay, yes, I was. Good. Number two, who's number two? Where you born in this city. Okay, good. Number three? What were your favorite What subjects? were your favorite subjects in school? Okay. Number four. When was when was, when was Peter born? Peter born? Okay. And number five. How old were you in nineteen ninety-nine? Correct. Good. Hey, excellent. You see the answers? Very good. Okay. Any questions? Okay, good. No, no, question. no questions. Excellent. <clears throat> All right. Jose Carlos, please read the objective. Okay. Um, will English converse, conversational skill with the press you said to uh, which you can use to describe your childhood or past by the end of this class you will be able to form statements negatives 
and short and words with user to learn English phrases like I used to be very me messy when I was a ki kid. Kid? A kid? Kid. Mm -hmm. But now I'm very neat. Okay. Good. And I didn't used to follow politics, but politics. now politics. But now I read the newspaper every day, and oral English compre comprehension exercise is included. Okay, so now we're going to use used to. Used to. Good. This is used to. Y la anterior teacher, de esa frase. That before was was were and with did. S. Here was the class before was this one was were and did, and now we're going to use used to. Okay, so how are we going to use used to? Used to is the activity before, yes, but the activity now no. Okay, so is. I used to, maybe for example, I used to smoke. Is before, yes, now no. Okay. This we're going to use with D. Look with D. I used to. Okay. If the sentence is negative, for example, here, I didn't, ah, then. The verb, normal, no, D. I didn't used to follow politics, but now, yes, this is the idea. It's okay used to? It's okay. okay. So how do we use used to? Let me show you. Used to play sports. Did you? Okay. Yes? Okay, so here we can use used to. If you see the sentence, I used to with D in positive. Used to, no D with negative. I didn't use to. Okay. In the question, look, in the question, no D here, no D. Why? Because we have the auxiliary. Okay. So we only use the question. Let me show you, for example, uh, where's the examples here? For example, here, I used to the verb in present. I used to the verb in present. I used to play, I used to smoke, I used to watch, I used to be. This is the idea, okay? Is I used to, and then the activities. Is before yes and now no. It's okay. So so. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. So so, all right. So so, no problem, no problem. Okay, I help you. So here we have many I used to. Okay, first let's make sure we understand. What do you understand? What is I used to? Or action that do you, uh, I don't know, but uh, we do in the past and now no. Correct. So as an example, we make the questions in two forms. We fake the first form with did. This is yes, no. Example. Did you used to study English? Did you used to work? Did you used to cook? Did you used to smoke? Did you used to exercise? The answer is yes, no, right? The other is we use WH, okay? Plus the D, okay? Plus we complete the same. Did you used to? Okay, this is the second form, the WH. For example, 
you can say, where did you used to live? Okay. okay. Or what did you used to play? This is no, yes, no, this is answer. I, in the sentence, wow. remember, I used, I used to play, a, I don't know, dominoes. Okay. Or what did you, uh, or where did you used to live? Ah, uh -huh, maybe I used to live for me is I used to live in San Vicente. Hey, I have a question. Uh, oh. Yes. Uh, always uh, the verb after the used to is in the original form, right? Correct. Okay. Always the verb is in the original form. Okay, so in this moment, in the chat, I want two examples. One did, one WH. Make two questions. One did, one WH. Put in the chat. Eh, si la oración está en, en afirmativo, no es una interrogación, no vamos a utilizar el did, solo vamos a usar el use it. Correct. Eh, Okay. But in this moment, no sentence. In this moment, questions. One question right. did, one WH question. Okay. <coughs> no, Stephanie. Not correct. Remember, where did you used to go? Used to? is solías, no es where did you go, okay? This is the difference. Used to is for before the action and now no. So remember, Stephanie, no time, only the correct step is where did you used to go? Before school, where did you used to go? After work, where did you used to go? Uh, to school, okay? Teacher. Yes. For example, when I was a child, I used to, I used to, uh, I used to use a skirt. Correct. Okay. Uh huh. So now make the question. Go ahead, medium. Make the question. Mm -hmm. Correct, Jose. Remember two questions. Dos preguntas. One wh, one did. One wh, one did. Uh, Cesar, no. Yes and no. Did you used to go get up late? Very late? Yes. What did used to be your favorite? No. What did? No. What used to be your favorite place? No did. What used to be your favorite place? Correct, Stephanie. So, so, Jose, remember in question, no D. Where did you use to play? No used to play. Cesar, correct. The second one, the what used to be your favorite place in childhood, correct. Stephanie, no sentence, only questions. One WH question and one did question. Okay. I have a question in the end with my. With my question. Yes, I said. <laughs> okay. Uh, you cannot use the 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 did because uh, I am using the be right. Uh, yeah, correct. Exactly. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Understood. Good cutting. Correct, Karen. Correct, Stephanie. Ana Yancy, no he visto ni una. No, teacher. No, Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio, remember the person. What did 
you use and then an activity. Remember, what did you use to do in the, uh, what did you use to do last summer, for example? Okay, Aida, so, so, Aida, what did you use? Remember, no D, no D. What did you use to eat when you were a child? No, you was, you were a child. Teacher, I have a question. Jose Carlos, not correct. Did you use last weekend? No. Is, do you remember is used to and no, no time? Mm -hmm. Not the last weekend. Stephanie, correct. Okay. Alguien dijo, teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yes, teacher, me. Go, Jose. Um, we, uh, in, in WH question, we can use D, right? When? In WH. In WH question. Yes, you can use D. No, D. B. Uh, la letra D no la podemos usar, ¿verdad? No, no. Okay. Con con did no vas a usar la letra D. Okay, thank you. Okay, Miriam, not correct. Miriam, when you was a child, you used to play soccer. Okay. Okay. Eh, tenés que poner una pregunta y lo tenés como oración. Entonces la pregunta Miriam es did you used to play soccer when you were a child? Lo tenés al revés de pregunta. Oh, but, okay. Pero la segunda, did you used to watch cartoons? Muy bien, solo que la, no se escribe watch de esa forma, pero sí está correcta esa pregunta. Okay, okay. teacher. I'm Good. sorry. No problem, no problem. Okay, Annalise okay. said, eh, Acuérdate que no va a ir, eh, va a ir, where you used to travel on December. Tienes que poner quién, a quién estás preguntando, where, y el auxiliar did. Where did you used to travel in December? Ana Yancy, estoy esperando. Teacher, es que fíjese que no sé, pero yo quiero escribir, pero me sale todo en español. Las letras son igual en inglés, no te sale en español. Te, te sale no, a lo, yo a la misma letra, mi alfabeto. Me lo, está, me lo está traduciendo. Ah. Ajá. Ajá. No sé qué es lo que le apreté. Ajá. Porque yo le escribo en, en inglés, pero automáticamente me lo pasa al español. Eso, no, no te preocupes, Ana Yancy. Mándamelo en WhatsApp, estoy pendiente. Dale. Go. Okay. Y okay. si se la digo ahorita, sí. En, no, yo mándamelo digo... en WhatsApp. Ok. okay. <risa> Te doy 60 segundos, dale. Wow. <risa> sí, porque se supone que ya las tenés listas, solo las tenés que escribir. Sí. Ok. Ok, ahorita. Ok. Eh, Norma, no. Norma, did you used to visit the mountain, the verb in present? No the verb in past. La segunda la hiciste bien, Norma. What did you play? When, or what did you play? Casi, casi. La segunda, solo que no usaste used to. Entonces va a ser, eh, what did you play? No puedes poner baseball. Porque estás preguntando qué jugaste. No qué jugaste, baseball. Oh, ok, teacher. Ok. Did you used to run last weekend? No, José Carlos. Ok, muy bien. Ya veo que todos estamos, los que están cometiendo errores son los mismos errores. Entonces, vamos a ver. Yancy, ahí estamos pendientes en WhatsApp. Eh, lo demás, vamos a pausar un momento. Ok. Y no, Miguel, no está correcto. Esa de when did you use your tools. O sea, no está, sí está correcta la pregunta, pero no para use to. Acuérdense que son dos diferentes cosas. Use es usar. Use to es solía. Si usted usa solo la palabra use, me está diciendo usar. Si me usa use to, me está diciendo solía. Solía trabajar. No es lo mismo que uso, trabajar. ¿Verdad? Esa palabra to cambia todo el significado. Y 
solía, no, no vas a decir, solía trabajar el fin de semana pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque no es un tiempo, ¿verdad? Es lo que hacías antes y ya no. Entonces, por eso no se pueden usar los, el, las palabras con tiempo. Por ejemplo, Stephanie, correct. Where do you use to travel? Correct. Correct, Miriam. Did you use to watch cartoons? Did you use to play soccer when you were a child? That's it. Por ejemplo, Miguel, did you use a computer yesterday? La pregunta está correcta, pero no me estás usando use to. Me estás usando use. Eso no es solías usar una computadora. Es usaste una computadora. Y lo mismo con la primera pregunta. When did you use your tools? Here. Correct, uh, Diego. That is correct. All right. In my questions, did you use to play soccer when you were a child? Correct. Okay. Did mm -hmm. you use to watch cartoons? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I watch cartoons. Okay. No, Yancy. Yancy, la primera sí. Where did you? Casi, casi la primera ya casi la sacas bien. Where did you used to go to run? Perfecto. Pero está cometiendo los mismos errores. ¿Cuál es el mismo uh -huh. error? No poner la persona. Tener que siempre poner de quién te estás hablando. Where did uh -huh. you used to go to run? Okay. Y en la segunda, si te fijas, no usaste es used to. Sí, sí. Ok, excelente. Muy bien. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer en este momento? Ya que ahora estamos mejor estructurados con nuestras preguntas, vamos a preguntar y contestar nuestras o ahí tenemos un montón de ejemplos para preguntarle al compañero. Así que yo puedo usar la de Diego y puedo preguntarle a Ida. Le puedo decir, where did you used to play soccer? Oh, le puedo preguntar a, a Ana Lisette, what did you used to read? O oh, le puedo preguntar a Stephanie, where did you used to travel? Así que ahora vamos a practicar contestando y respondiendo. Ready? Teacher. Yes. Este, ¿verdad que cuando utilizamos el WH question plus subject plus used to, no se utiliza el, el used to con D al final del use, ¿verdad? No. O sí. No, y, y de, un, de, de, de hecho les voy a ayudar de un solo para que no se confundan. Para todos, nunca, nunca se usa el pasado del verbo en la pregunta. Nunca se usa el verbo con D en la pregunta. Sí, Siempre es que anoté varios, varios nunca. de los Así compañeros. Así que no se tiene que estar preguntando. Sí. Ajá, Por eso no se pregunté. tiene que preocupar. Nunca se va a usar. Nunca va a usar el, el verbo en pasado. Vas a usar el auxiliar. Did you, did you play? Okay. Sí, porque estamos utilizando el auxiliar. Exacto. Acuérdense nuevamente, el, en inglés el auxiliar es la función del tiempo. La persona, tenés que ponerlo por saber de quién estás hablando, a quién estás preguntando, y el verbo es la acción. Entonces, en español es comiste. Sabemos que... Estoy hablando en pasado, sabemos que el verbo es de comer y sabemos que la persona es a ti por el cómo está conjugado. En inglés, tenés que poner el tiempo, did. Tenés que poner la persona, you, y tenés que poner la acción, eat, para tener comiste. ¿Ok? Entonces, el auxiliar es eso, indicar el tiempo, solo es eso. ¿Ok? Casi, Diego, solo que le agregaste una D. Acuérdate, no agregarle la D. I used to en preguntas. Porque el verbo siempre va a ir normal. Ok. We're ready. Yes, yes. Ok. Very good, Miguel. Did you used to see movies? Every night. Ok. Now, let's practice with our partners. Ask and answer the questions. Any questions?
Okay. Any questions? Yes, teacher. Okay. When the answer is continue 
eh, lo, la, la pregunta que le hacen no, ya no se queda en pasada. Por ejemplo, mire, me preguntaba que si me gustaban las caricaturas, pero me siguen gustando. Entonces, ¿cómo es la respuesta que no se queda solo en el pasado, sino que, en el con, que continúa? Still. Ok. So, for example, did you used to like cartoons? Yes, I still like cartoons. I still, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Still significa, teacher? Todavía. Todavía, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Karen. Any other questions? Ok. All right. Now, escribir la palabra still, teacher, please? Yes. In the chat. Uh, no problem. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, well, the, the, the correct way to answer the, that question is I still watch cartoons. Correct. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I still play soccer. I still play video games. Mm -hmm. Now, with our partners, we are going to do 1.11. 1.11, let's try together. For example, here, where did Jerry grow up? What is the correct way? What do you think is the correct form? She grips, wakes, wakes up in at the second. <laughs> She she grew up up in <laughs> it's okay. She grew up, she grew up, she up she grabs, in, in England. I think that is the first. I think that is the 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 third one. Okay. All right. Let's see. It's the third one. Did es el pasado. Significa que la respuesta es el pasado, no el presente. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Good. Try number two. W did Jerry have a hobby? First one. Jerry uh, Jen used to paint and, and she still paints today. ¿Y qué significaba esto, still? Es, todavía. 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 Así se contesta. To y todavía lo hace en el caso de ella. En el caso tuyo va a decir, I still, ¿verdad? No, she still, I still. still. Todavía. Mm -hmm. Number three, what's number three? I used it to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Okay, good, good. Number four. I use it to colors comic books where I was a kid. Okay, good. And the last one, number five. Use it to. The first one. The first one. Yes. Yes, okay, good. Excellent, you see, is all correct. Okay. Used to. All right. Any questions? Teacher, excuse me. Eh, in the number three. Okay. Eh, you say when you use did the ask in, in the auxiliary in the in the question. The ask what you use uh, uh, the verb in the past. No, when you use did, you use the no. Ah, yes. Okay, I understand. Yes, when you use did, the verb in present. If no did, then you put the verb in past. Here is the for the used we used with d in past. Mm -hmm. Yes, but my, my question is, uh, when you don't put uh, in the past play? 
always, always you put a, a, the, the verb in present with auxiliary. For example, didn't, uh, did, a, a could, should, used to, always. When you have auxiliary, the verb in present. Ah, okay, 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 mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay. Así que, como pueden ver, yo, ahí ya terminamos el 1.11. Ya el lunes finalizamos la unidad 1. Y por eso es muy importante los que tengan un poco de tiempo adelantar y ver los videos. Especialmente si a uno le cuesta o uno ve que ah, definitivamente son temas que son difíciles. Nada cuesta ver los videos de los días anteriores también para que les quede claro. Como pueden ver, nosotros no pasamos mucho tiempo viendo los videos porque para eso están en la plataforma, para que usen su tiempo. Utilizamos el tiempo de la clase para lo que no podemos hacer solo. Hablar, preguntar, contestar y aclarar dudas. Eso no lo podemos hacer solo. Ver videos lo podemos hacer solitos. Entonces... Es importante que cada quien tome responsabilidad de su educación y vean los videos lo más posible antes de la clase para que así se les quede más fácil y tengan más tiempo para practicar. ¿Ok? Y acuérdense, si tienen dudas, pregunten y si les quedó duda, revisen los videos a ver si les ayuda primero. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.